Hello. Hello, my name is Jake Plasky and welcome to my first video. So, today I'm going to talk about my mistakes I make when I start lifting. First I'm going to eat this and then I go to mistake number one and that is nutrition. By the way, I eat some pasta with mixed veg and lean. Wait, 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 hold the f up. So my audio decided to give me the middle finger. It literally sounded like two rusty robots having foreplay doing this part in a voiceover. So nutrition, let's do it. In my early days, I didn't know anything about nutrition. So I was searching on YouTube and I came across a video and it called full day of eating as a pro bodybuilder. I looked at this video and this guy ate it six ounces of chicken breast and six ounces of fish fillet. Little did I know, I thought six ounces meant six pieces. What I ended up doing, I ate it six plain fish and chicken fillets per day. It was ridiculous. I literally ran around my table to digest that food. After a week of doing that, I gave up. The next problem that I had was I was always in a deficit. I thought if I am in a deficit, I would look like the guys on the magazines and the guys on YouTube. Surprisingly, I didn't even gain weight or muscle. Fast forward two years and I started bulking. I bulked up to 81 kilograms, which is on my frame a lot. I am 5 foot 7 or 1 meter 70 and all the weight that I gained wasn't all muscle. It was most of all fat and water my recommendation to you guys is learn about nutrition do your research learn about macros learn about calories if you can't build a program yourself i strongly recommend you to hire a coach because food is literally 80 percent of your results every piece of food you put in your mouth your body gonna reflect that so if you eat fat foods all the day greasy food your body gonna reflect that you're gonna have zits and pimples and you're probably gonna be fat. So follow a program based on your goals and only then you're gonna see drastic results. Let's go to mistake number three, which is supplements. And I'm here talking about the supplements. So I switched the camera because the, the front cam didn't pick the audio that good. Um, so supplements, my mistakes. First of all, I'm gonna show you my supplement stack, what I'm currently taking. So, at night, I take a scoop of whey casein, slow releasing protein. Before my workouts, I take five grams of creatine. It helps with strength performance and it takes water into your muscles, which make you look fuller and bigger. And for snack, I'm taking a whey protein. Uh, one scoop is like 25 grams, so it's a good supplement. Next up, I'm taking as well in the morning like a multivitamins. Just these are multivitamins tablets, so you need to take them with water. This one stays very good. And why do I take them? Because for overall health, okay, you got vitamins in fruits and vegetables. I know, but I want that extra bit of vitamins in my system. So therefore, I take in multivitamins. And last, but not not essential to be honest, is a pre-workout. If I don't have the energy to go to the gym or even a monster don't kick in that good, I take the pre-workouts, G Fuel, whatever, which pre-workouts, I just take them when I feel sluggish. So the mistake that I made in the past was I bought too much of supplements. I bought test boosters, fat burners, creatine, um, glutamine, uh, citrulline malate, you can name them. Too much because I thought Supplements equals muscle, which is not the case. Uh, supplements, do they work? Yes. But are supplements the reason why you get so big, get so muscular? No. Supplements are literally like the cherry on the top of your cake. It's not, it works in a way, but it's not gonna be the biggest reason why you get so much results. 
supplements literally it's saying in the name it's just supplementing it's just that extra bit you want to adding to your diet is it uh, is it necessary in my opinion no are they worth it it depends if you want to spend your money on supplements you do you it's your choice but no supplements can get very expensive if you want my opinion just bought this ones the essentials they are proven to work so why not now we're gonna work for a bit and i'll see you in a sec for my third mistake i'm in my new whip on my way to the gym and this little container contains cocaine aka creatine i'm gonna put this in this shaker i'm gonna trade delts and arms let's go guys you say you wanna cry but you never do sugar there's a And that was a great workout. So, I took a shower, feeling fresh again, and I didn't film the full workout, but if you are interested in the full workout, link of my Instagram is in the description. There I posted the full delts and arms workout. So, let's go to mistake number three and four, which is sloppy form and lifting heavy. <laughs> So, in the past, I always took heavy weights and half reckoning. And I thought, if I lift heavy weights, I will build muscle. Which is very wrong. If you really want to lift heavy, you need to nail your form first. Because form is key. There is no benefits of lifting heavy if you can't implement a good form. So, what is a good form? For example, by with a dumbbell bench press. So, you need to retract your shoulders, chest forward, a little arch in the lower back. And really go to the full range of motion, which is... Full flexion and full extension of the muscle. Once you nail that, then you can lift heavy. And then you're gonna have the benefits from lifting heavy. If you can't nail your form, there is no need to lift heavy because you're only gonna injure yourself. Put something else in the mix, like doing supersets or using TUT, time under tension. Those are very good tools to use to damage the muscle with lighter weights or to learn to build up your strength. If you follow these steps, I guarantee you, you will see changes. So now I'm gonna work for a bit and then I see you for my last mistake. Last but biggest mistake that I made when I started lifting was neglecting muscle. I was the guy that only wanted a big chest, chiseled abs and big arms. I rarely trained shoulders, I never trained legs and I never trained back, which is very stupid to do. After one year of training, I trained back properly. After one year of training, I trained shoulders properly. And after two and a half years of training, I trained legs properly. Because of those stupid mistakes, I run on some posterior problems, which are one shoulder is tilting forward and having a pelvic tilt or a butt wink. These are things you don't want because you are creating imbalances in your muscles. For example, I have one chest that is bigger than the other chest. You can really see that if I take a picture, you can see one chest is bigger than the other one. And on pictures, you can see that one shoulder is tilted forward and the other shoulder is standing straight. And on pictures in my early days, you can, you can clearly see my butt winking backwards. Friends of me told me that. They say, Jake, why are you walking so weird? That's because of my posterior problems. So I hired a physiotherapist, which is probably the best decision I made in a very long time for myself of course because your posture is so important and especially if you want to gain quality size muscles you can be as muscular if you want but if you have a shitty posture your body won't look good so that was my five biggest mistakes I hope you never make the same mistakes that I made that's why I made this video so you don't make the same stupid mistakes that I made. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give this one a like, share with a friend, enable post notifications so you can see when I'm posting a new video. I quickly want to say sorry for my English. A lot of you guys were probably like, 
what the hell but i try to do my best i really gonna work on it so i can produce better content for you guys so i'm gonna leave you with that thank you very much and i'll see you next time peace